But you died. Oi, what happened? The soul lets go of his body, and his body falls to the ground. The body dies, the soul does not die. The soul leaves the body and goes up and up and up. And as it approaches the gate of heaven where it will go before the judge, there's a boss call, a voice from heaven. And the boss call asks that soul, did you enjoy my world while you were there? If that soul would answer, what are you crazy with the wars and famines, what's going on there? If the soul would answer like that, that soul would have to come back to this world again and again to that very same place until that soul learns that God put that soul in this world to be happy. Jewish mystical writings teach that just like did God put Adam the first man in the Garden of Eden way back then when he created the world, so does he put man in the Garden of Eden today, right here in this very world, when he busies himself with Torah and mitzvahs. If we will live a life of Torah and mitzvahs, we'll see this is the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden, God's presence dwelt. In the temple, which stood right here, God's presence rested. How can we see that this is the Garden of Eden? How can we see God's presence resting in our life? King David said to enter the temple, enter the gates with thanksgiving. You want to enter the gates of the temple? Say, thank God, thank God. Thank you for my life. Thank you for what you've given me. And King David tells us to get even further into the Temple Mount, to enter the courtyard, enter the courtyards with praise. You want to get even deeper? Praise God. God, you're gorgeous. God, you're the purpose. You fill and surround all. Non-Jewish mystical writings say that this world is an illusion. It does not really exist. Some even say it's evil. The Torah says it's a gorgeous opportunity if you use it right. This world where we're living now is the only time and place where we can improve our futures, where we can gain a better share in this world and in the world to come. Thank God.